Over the past few years, e-commerce has risen to become the primary way of doing business. And, with everything that has gone down in the world recently, we have ushered into a golden age for online shopping. However, with so many businesses vying for customers' attention, it can be a bit tricky to stand out. So, here are a few tips for you to be good at selling products online. Tip 1. Don't dive in without a strategy. One of the biggest mistakes modern online sellers make is that they try to go with the flow, and don't plan their strategies before starting. Knowing what you are trying to sell, and honing in on your target audience is half the battle. So, you need to decide things like whether you are going to limit yourself to an online store, or have a physical presence as well. Another area where new businesses falter is their range of products. Establishing your product boundaries and figuring out whether you are a specialist seller, or want to sell a wide variety of products is super essential. And of course, once you are done with these things, carrying out market surveys to see what sort of people are buying that product is also extremely important. This also involves optimizing your SEO so your products can actually reach the intended audience. However, make sure you are doing all of these things before you actually start selling your products, so you don't face any adaptability issues later. Tip 2. Make things easy for the customer. We've all heard the age-old saying that the customer is king, and obviously, this is true for the online world as well. As someone looking to buy things, nothing turns me off more than a complicated buying process. Reducing friction for the customer should be on top of your priority list. So, things like adding products to the cart and checking out should be as efficient and fast as possible. Not only that but you also need to have ample information about the product displayed front and center. Using compelling descriptions, images, and reviews for the item all on the same page could be the difference between someone buying your product or moving on. You need to make sure the customer understands how your product is exactly what they need. Pairing this in tandem with a fast, checkout process means you're already 80% of the way there. Tip 3. Choose the most efficient platform. We've already established that making things as frictionless as possible is the key to increasing sales. How do you achieve that experience though? Well, choosing the appropriate platform, for starters, goes a long way towards that goal. There is such a wide variety of e-commerce platforms for you to choose from these days that honestly, it can get somewhat overwhelming. Each of them comes with different pros and cons and scoping out which one suits you the best can be challenging. And, while building and designing your own platform can be great for bigger businesses, it can be a massive risk as well, which new sellers probably cannot afford to take. So, we'd recommend choosing an off-the-shelf software platform to build your website around like Squarespace or Shopify. Not only do these platforms provide easy and adaptable solutions, but customers these days have also developed a familiarity with their templates. So, having a standardized and efficient backbone, will save you a lot of time that you can divert towards marketing instead. Tip 4. Establish your brand identity. A lot of people talk about how promoting your brand is super important to be successful. However, what they fail to explain is that before you promote, you need to establish a solid identity in the first place. This includes your product lines, marketing, messaging, and your style. A lot of businesses these days make the mistake of having a broad variety of products available, which dilutes their identity, and sometimes even quality. So, make sure your product offerings make sense and belong to the same category. A customer who is trying to buy a piano is not going to look for a motorbike to pair with it, so don't have both on display, unless you're Yamaha. As for the marketing and style, these days it's popular to be quirky, and have a social media audience. And, while a lot of brands have found success with that strategy, it can quickly turn into cringe as well. So, before you decide that your brand identity is going to revolve around being funny and relatable, make sure you are actually good at it. And, obviously, since there is no such thing as one size fits all when it comes to marketing, you can adopt a classier style as well. The key in both of these scenarios is to adopt what you are good at, and aim it towards the target audience. Tip 5 stand out from the crowd. The online commerce market has become so competitive over the past few years that you'll always be up against thousands of other businesses regardless of your product. So, choosing a niche product line is not a viable option to stand out anymore. What else can you do to look unique and thus attract more customers? 
Well, the first step is to use the market competitiveness to your advantage. Other businesses already operating in the space are stuck in their ways and cannot alter strategies very quickly. You, however, have the liberty to inspect everything that they are doing and find the weak spots in their plan. For instance, if your competitors in the space do not have a lot of verified reviews, you can use that fact to your advantage and display your rave reviews to gain the trust of new customers. Of course, this only works if your customer service is good in the first place. Tip 6. Build Customer Loyalty. There is no magic potion that's going to instantly make your business successful. Building your reputation and trust takes a lot of work and time. And, as we have already mentioned earlier, customer service stands at the center of that strategy. We cannot state how important a good customer support program is for the success of your business. As a customer, you need to know that the brand you are buying from is trustworthy, and that if you are going to run into any potential issues, the seller has got you covered. How do you build that trust and loyalty? The first thing is to make your customer feel like they are in safe hands. This can be shown by an empathetic tagline, a helpful chat representative, and a robust refund or exchange program. Also, while targeted ads are a great marketing tool, the actual word of mouth is also incredibly impactful. And, when someone has a great experience dealing with you, they are definitely going to recommend you to other people as well. From there, it's a snowball effect as you gain momentum and brand loyalty. Tip 7. Keep an eye on your margins. Modern businesses can easily fall into the trap of undercutting market prices to gain a greater share. This undercutting is not limited to pricing either as offering free shipping is also a very popular way to entice customers. However, before you do that, you need to make sure whether you can even afford to do that while maintaining a sustainable profit margin. You see, a lot of businesses that offer free shipping these days are big businesses and their economies of scale allow them to offer these things. So, you need to make sure that you are not actually losing money that you cannot recoup later. In addition to that, there are still ways to offer great value while having market competitive prices. For instance, you can use premium add-ons for your product, or offer cheap, freebies to attract customers. In addition to that, upselling is also something that can turn a loss-making product into a profitable one. Tip 8. Utilize social media to its full potential. Most of the modern marketing has pivoted over to social media, with paid posts, promotions, reviews, and much more. However, there is still so much room for expansion and experimentation within that many businesses overlook. Being able to fully utilize that untapped potential can elevate your brand to new heights. This can take the form of a suspenseful campaign, a witty celebrity collaboration, or something completely new and unknown. The goal here is to grab eyeballs and raise intrigue for your audience. Tip 9. Nothing is set in stone. None of the things we have mentioned earlier will hold any credence without this one though. The most important golden rule for building any successful business is adaptability. Don't make the mistake of being stuck in your ways, and always look for ways to improve and build upon what you already have. E-commerce is a living and breathing business, and making sure that you are adequately adjusting your strategy according to market conditions, will determine whether you rise up to the top or fall into obscurity. Always maintain the mindset that nothing is actually finished, and you are always in optimization mode. So, continuously assess your business, and eliminate any weak spots you find. Things change quickly these days and only those businesses that are agile enough to switch their priorities on the go attain continued success. That's a wrap for this video. What aspect of an e-commerce business do you think is the most important? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.